Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVNet's video series on binary search tree interview question and this video is about how to find the diameter of a binary tree. So the diameter of the binary tree is the longest path available. So if you look at this binary tree, the longest path available is this one, right? So from this node to this node, this is the longest path. If you see this one, I mean I have given this example just to demonstrate that it is not necessary the longest path would always include the root okay this is not compulsory remember that so if you see what is the longest path or the diameter of this binary tree is then this is going to be this one okay from this node to this node so how much it is this is one two three four five six so the answer is six for this one answer for this one is one two three four five so the answer for this one is five so the diameter of a binary tree is nothing but the biggest path available in that particular tree and how we'll find that let's observe this one carefully so if you see this from here we can return one then whatever you got from here you will return plus one with that so you have two now here so from left you got two right for this particular node and from right hand side you will get one so which one is bigger bigger is two so you will return two plus one three so you got three here so you wanted to receive three for this right so this is the longest path for this root and from here you will get one from here and then one plus one two so three plus two is equal to five this is okay right i mean this is what you will think for the beginning that i have to return left height and right height for any particular node and i will check that which one is bigger i'll keep returning that plus one and at the root i will have the longest path available in the left hand side and the right hand side but this is not going to work the reason is sometime it is possible that you have some tree like this so here obviously you will receive one and then here you will receive two here you will receive three as you will receive one from here two from here and three from here so you have three plus three like how you was having here right you had three plus two here you have three plus three till this it is correct but the moment when you are going from here to here you have to choose either of these two paths and then if you are choosing three obviously you have to choose three then this root will have one from here and three plus one four here and one here so this is like five but you already know there is a path which is of length six so this becomes wrong you will not return the height of a left and right and in the end you will add that no that is not going to work rather what you will do you will maintain a variable let's say max diameter so far what you have got you will store that in this and you will replace this variable with the higher value than this max diameter so if you come to this example again then the max diameter you would have found was six for this particular node right the moment you are going from here to here you are saying that the left hand side height and right hand side height which one is bigger both are equal so you can return anything plus one okay that's how you will calculate the right hand side height for this node right for root so you are returning four from here and you got one from here and then you will try to add and see is this making a bigger diameter but for our case no that is not the case it is five and we already have one diameter which is six so we'll not replace this six with five we'll keep the six as it is and we'll just try to go from here and we'll know that this max diameter variable will hold the maximum diameter available in the tree so this is the code for that so till now you would have understood that it is very simple you have to return the left and right height of your sub trees and in the end you just have to see if that left hand right I mean left hand side and right hand side height addition is actually greater than max diameter if 
your current diameter which is actually left hand side height and right hand side height is greater than max diameter what you have so far you will replace that with the max diameter otherwise you will just simply return max of left height and right height plus one so this is your actual class this is the main function you will call this diameter from main and you will call this with the root and this is the driver function get height so basically you are trying to find the height of a binary tree but in between when you are finding the height of a binary tree you have to choose or you have to calculate the diameter in between right so the diameter trick is at each and every node for this one this one this one this one and root so you will always have left hand side subtrees height and right hand side subtree height okay as you was having here so you will add those two height and make that as your diameter but you will check do i already have a bigger diameter available if you does then you won't change otherwise if you happen to find a bigger diameter let's suppose uh, in this case if this was the case let's say so from here now you will not receive one you will receive one two three four and five so you will receive five from here and four from here so now what is this nine and you would have stored six for this node right when you came here now for this root you will find that five plus four which is nine is greater than my max diameter i have encountered so far so i will replace that with nine so six will be replaced with nine and you have answer nine so the trick is when you are trying to find the height of a binary tree that time only you can find the diameter of the binary tree also and if these two lines are not there then in that case this function becomes similar to the get height right so for each and every time you will have left and right height plus one i mean max of left and right height and plus one would be the answer but adding these two lines help you to find the diameter also so let's have a dry run this is your root here we'll pass this root here with maximum diameter so integer minimum so this integer minimum is the minimum value this integer can hold which is in negative okay so we are sending let's suppose minus one here and this is the root so root is going from here so let's mark them one two three four five and six so we are sending basically one from here okay so you received one and minus one we'll keep going left so we'll go from here to here here to here and then we'll try to go to further left but you cannot so you'll come back with zero okay so you received zero from here and you'll receive zero from here also now i'll try to execute this one so current diameter is going to be left height plus right height which is again zero and max diameter is minus one so we'll have minus one and zero so zero wins so max diameter is going to be zero now okay remember this and we will return returning meaning you are going from here to here right but when you are going back in that case you are having max of left hand right and right hand side so plus one so this is going to return one from here right obviously and then you'll go from here to here this will also receive zero from here and zero from here and this is going to return one why because we have this max of left height and right height plus one so this is also going to return one now you are at this location you have done completing this and this line and you are standing here again in the call stack so now you have left height plus right height so your current diameter if you see this particular situation is exactly two right because if only this much big tree is there then your diameter is true no doubt so your current diameter is two which is actually bigger than your max diameter which was stored zero previously so you will replace that and say that i have found a bigger diameter than the previous one which is two so you'll replace that and return again which one is bigger both are same so you will have one plus one two you'll return from here you will have two here so remember this is actually height calculation tree and i mean height calculation code and we have just injected these two lines to make it work for a diameter so you are returning two here from here to here because the maximum height you have found is two only from here to here right 
So you you send two now to this guy. So this guy would now go here and will try to get going here, but it will receive zero from here and then it will go here and then this will return zero from here, zero from here because we don't have anything in the left and right hand side of this six. And if you see this, left height is zero, right height is zero for this six. So current diameter becomes zero and zero and max data max diameter which is two so your max diameter will remain two it will not change you will send back one why because you have max of left height and right height plus one so you will return one here because you have left left hand side height and right hand side zero so now for this particular case you have left hand side height zero and right hand side height one so this is zero and this is one so current diameter becomes one now. So one is less than two. So we'll not do anything and we'll just simply return from here also. So when you're returning from here, you have max of L and R height plus one, which is two. So you have returned two now and you got this place and you have left hand height is two, right hand side height is two. So two plus two is going to be four here, right? And four, is actually greater than max diameter which is 2 so you will have 4 stored in this max diameter now and return max diameter sorry max of L and R plus 1 so you will return 3 and your code is done but the point is you have max diameter in this variable which you saw sent from here as a reference so you will return max diameter from here good logic right thanks for watching guys take care bye bye I'll see you in the next videos.